Hi, I'm Steve Dresser. I'm from MVP. Today we're going to be testing the water in Kansas City to see who has the best water and see who has the worst water. A couple different things we're going to look for. We're going to look for the dissolved solids and we're going to look for the chlorine content in the water and the mineral hardness in the water. Today we're going to be testing the water for Stillwell. We're just going to put it in our test just to show us what the chlorine content is. Stillwell is sitting at 3.2 parts per million as far as chlorine content goes. Our next test that we're gonna do is a simple hardness test kit. We're gonna take some of that Stillwell water that we have in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our reaction agents in here. So for every drop that we put in of our agent, that's how many hardness it's actually sitting at. So we're just gonna start off with just five drops just to see if it turns already. We see that it's not actually turning. So we go six, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, no, oh, 10, one, 12. You can kind of see that there's pigment starting to change. And 13 should get us right on the dot for blue. And what we do is we know that we have 13 grains of hardness inside the water there in Stillwell. So the next thing that we're gonna actually test for is the dissolved solids. We go into the, the test, it's a simple test to see. We are at 237 parts per million. You can see that that color is not green. Green would mean that it's actually really good or bottled water quality taste coming out of the actual tap. That is not. Based off these results, I would give Stillwell a C for overall quality. Tune in next week, we'll be testing the water in a city near you.